washers and the hot and cold taps. Stage one, have a look in the, the link in the video up here. We just switched out the shower heads. Have a look at the video link, which is just up there, and um, we'll show you that video for doing that. Number two, we're going to pull these apart. Now, often, you don't actually even need a spanner. Yeah, but they're loose enough. These uh, little lock nuts on the top, be them red dots, blue dots, or hot, or whatever. And then that comes off. And then, the next section underneath spins off as well. Now, this one is really much a matter of doing it by hand. If, if they're tight, a pair of slip joint pliers is an excellent tool for plumbing and things like that. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I'll, I'll find some tap washers for you and some different tools. These slip joint pliers, the, it moves up and down the bolt there as to how far they are. So you can see if you need to undo that, you can grab hold of it and undo it to loosen off that first nut. And even what you can do, put a rag onto the, uh, onto the next piece, which is this piece here. You slip a rag over that. If it's too tight, you can't get it off. And then grab it with your slip joint pliers and um, undo it that way. That's the way just to get it started and uh, so as not to damage it. You see inside, there is just a thread in there. So it's just a matter of unscrewing it, but there's no spanner or flat spots or anything on it. And normally it's just a good old grab and pull them off and they come off. And then what the tap looks like underneath, once you've got them off, is just like that. So next is the big shifter um, onto these here. Adjust that adjustable wrench down to the right size, which is like that. And again, I'll put a, a link to where to get tools like this and then undo it. But you know what? We're not going to undo that right now because if we did, water would come shooting out and make a huge mess because um, there's water behind it under pressure. So we've got to go out to the front of the house now and find your water isolation tap, wherever that is, and turn the water off to the whole house and then we'll take these out. And again, it's a super quick process to then swatch out those washers. The front tap is often that's where you'll find your water meter. Mine's all covered under bark, but the water meter's here uh, showing the reading. And then there's a tap just in front of it. And uh, it's just a matter of turning that tap from the on to the off. It's right around there in this case. And then at the tap here, you get to check it. And you see, oh, yep, the pressure comes out and then She's off. A little bit of a dribble is okay for what we're going to do. But that's off. Turn that off again. We can run inside and quickly do those off. So, now that the water's off, we can take these off. And this really is an uncomplicated, easy job. You just adjust the wrench where you want it to be. And it'll come off. It is sometimes a good idea to open the tap if it feels a bit tight. It feels a bit tight. That's just the pressure that's in the pipe. And the same on that one. Water out. That's important for when you're doing it back up. See if that was, yeah, there's that loosened it up, but just because of that pressure. Again, a bit of water will fall out. And then we're going to pull this washer out. Now, again, this is where we're going to use those slip joint pliers or just another pair of pliers. We need the, um, that, that wash won't come out. What happens normally is this style of washer has a rubber ring on the end and it gets squashed flat, that splays out and it gets wider instead of that. So we'll adjust these down. I'll grab hold of that. Pull it out and yeah, sure enough, it's not supposed to be spread way out past the washer like that. It's supposed to be flat like that so that washer is no good we'll uh, give it a replace i'm actually going to use a different style of washer i've got tap washers with o-rings on them um, so i'm going to give these a go they're just nice and gentle um, i'll put a link to these if i can find them um, so have a look in the links in the description to see if i've found these washers so solid brass got the anti-hammer little thing on the back of them and a washer there they're really good um, i've had these for probably 20 years it could be so don't go taking any notice of that price we'll stick a couple of these washers in that's them there 
If your tap has been tight at all, you can get a bit of um, silicon based lubricant onto these two O-rings and that'll um, really help it as it moves in and out and that's the seal on there. So the way the tap works, as it turns, you see these O-rings um, travel inside here. So we're gonna take the opportunity to put a bit of lube on them. Again, um, I've got a link in the description to the silicon based lube that you can use. Just a tiny little bit like that. We're gonna rub it on both the O-rings, make them slide a lot nicer. We're gonna put some on the thread as well. Now, the link that I've got goes to some food grade stuff. This is a shower tap, so it doesn't have to be food grade, obviously. But um, if you get the food grade stuff, then you can use it on your kitchen tap as well. Have that fully open, which is fully back. If you try to install this in the wall with an out, you'll end up crushing your new washer. So we stick the washer in like that, wind this fully on, as back as far as it goes, um, so it doesn't hit anything. And then we screw it into the wall, do it up with the adjustable wrench. Hmm. Now the only thing, if you're using these O-ring ones, you've got to make sure that the seat that it seats up against is in good nick and nice and flat, and it is with these. So then we screw that up by hand. As you can see it's putting a little bit of positive pressure and pushing a bit of water out. Bring that around. If you've got a glass shower, make sure you can't slip off. You're not gonna smash the glass with your big wrench. Do that up. Now this does need to be done up pretty tight because it's under water pressure. That one's done. We can now screw that in. We'll take this one off. And this is actually exactly the same, so I won't show you that again. So then, spin these back on. Really is that simple. Spin that back on. That good. Tap, handle goes back. Tap, handle goes back. Hot and cold, hope you've remembered which is which. the taps now that they're all done up and assembled and then what we do get those slip joint pliers and just give these open it up a little bit then give these just a little nib like that and a little nib like that we're done rip out the front turn the water back on test it for leaks beautiful okay so you can tell these have been lubed they're really nice to turn now and those you can see it turning straight off the tap so really happy with that that's really good and up here the shower